Having said that caregivers should feel comfortable going to see their health professionals for help, there is a literature that tells us that physicians in particular have difficulty at times relating to family caregivers. Some of that difficulty uh, reflects ignorance or lack of experience in how to respond to caregivers. The recognition that responding to caregivers is not something that is a two or three minute intervention. It requires a lot of active listening. It requires a lot of response to caregivers that is individualized. It requires a lot of ability to empathize and where appropriate to sympathize. Health professionals have difficulty because sometimes they're faced with conflicting agendas. They have in front of them the care receiver and also the care recipient. I'm sorry, that's the same thing. They have in front of them the care recipient uh, and the caregiver. And the agendas of the two people, the caregiver and the care recipient, may not always be the same. And so doctors are often faced with a conflictual situation in their office for which there may or may not be a solution. And in addition, doctors are not well trained to deal with conflict within their offices. And so what do we recommend for health professionals? We're looking to try to develop programs for health professionals to learn explicitly how to deal with uh, conflict between caregivers and care recipients that occurs in the office. Because in some, in some cases, the agenda of both is equally valid. And sometimes it's difficult to know really who is the patient. In my own practice, when I think it's the care recipient who's the pa- who is the patient today, in fact, it may be the caregiver who is the patient who is more distressed because she, he or she is more distressed than the, uh, the care recipient.